I'm really excited that you're here for this, and uh, I also just want to say thank you to Fort Collins. I am moving away. I'll be back in and out. Who's been to the shows that we've done here before? All right, all right. Well, yeah. Uh, I sincerely appreciate you guys, and I'm glad you've come out to these shows and we were able to raise money uh, for, for charities. And you know we have another charity tonight, which I know the name of, and, uh, and I really believe in. Of course. But maybe I can test someone in the crowd. Do you know what the name of the charity is? Anyone? Until they come home. Yeah, until they come home, everyone. It's for dogs, right? It's for dogs. So that's good. All the money goes to the dog people, all right? And they bring dogs home, and that's great, and I'm glad that they're here. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do us all a favor, I'm gonna bring out uh, everyone, everyone, come on out here. Come on out here, everybody. These are all my friends who are here this evening. And I will introduce you to them individually. Uh-huh. Look at this lineup. My God. They keep coming. Wait till you see the last one. Gross. <laughs> Look at that one. That's nuts. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> so as you can see, uh, a lot of very funny people are here. And I'm going to uh, introduce you. I'm going to introduce you to them one by one. So Dylan, first slide. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to us first, my oldest friend in stand-up comedy, everybody. Brent Gill, everyone. Brent Gill right there. Brent Gill. Brent hosted the first open mic I ever did. He was also the first person to give me any kind of paid work on a show and the first person to ever headline me. So I love Brent right there, my man. Yes. Uh, I've known Brent. I remember what you, went, remember what you looked like when I first met you, Brent? <laughs> Doesn't that picture of my niece look like Brent Gill? Now, people over there are probably furious because they might not be able to see, but don't worry, only 40 more slides. Um, I've been there with Brent for, uh, through a lot, thick and thin. I remember uh, when you had that, that baby scare, you know? Uh, he, he thought he was going to have a baby with a, uh, with, a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a woman, right? So that was bad, you know? I've been there through uh, some tragedies that you've had. I've been there through your act. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's Brent Gill and he eats at Chili's alone. Now imagine opening with that joke for 15 years. Brent knows it all too well. Uh, but you know the worst thing never happened to you, Brent. <laughs> you filthy pig. <laughs> That's Brent's muse, Ruby, everybody. Uh, <laughs> next up, everybody. That's the whole joke, Brent. You banged her for a long time. Uh, I couldn't find a bald photo of her. <laughs> uh, coming up next, everyone, my oldest friend in the world, everyone. David Borey, right there, everyone. David Borey. I love David very much. We've had so many great memories together, you know? Um, David and I met in, uh, in freshman year of, of high school. So we've known each other for what, more than 20 years now. Um, and I love him dearly. And I'm very glad that he could make it up here. Uh, Dylan, uh, that's me and David right there. That's, uh, yeah, that's us. And David, you've been there for everything. He was the best man at my wedding, you know? Uh, <laughs> Uh, he was the best man at my wedding, you know. He looked so good there. You know? uh, I'd love to see you grow as a man. You know, you've gotten into the outdoors. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> you've been fishing. I like that a lot. And uh, yeah, and it's just been great to see your your career blossom, David. You're everywhere. Yeah. Uh, Uh, 
They're different black people. Some of you weren't sure. And that's, that's on you, all right? Yes, they're different black people. Next up, uh, this next comic, no stranger uh, to black men, Christy Bukley, everybody. Um, there's Christy. This is a photo she posted on her own in social media. You can see where they had her tail removed there. Um, and also, you can follow her at The Joke Mentor. <laughs> you can follow Christy Bukley at The Joke Mentor, everyone. So that's the choice she made. Um, Bukley, I love you. You're one of the bravest people I know. You signing up to do this roast, uh, you've always done a great job at these. Uh, I mean, I love you. I mean, Dylan, me and Bukley, we've, we've been there forever. Uh, we've been there day one, and if only I could know what you were thinking in that photo there. <laughs> Interesting. Look how wet you are in that photo, Bukley. <laughs> uh, now, Bukley, uh, Bukley is a very brave person. You know, online, she's consistently brave. And she posts a lot of vulnerable photographs of herself. Um, don't laugh now, all right? Don't laugh immediately. Uh, this next photo, uh, Bukley uh, posted. Um, right there, yep. This photo uh, was taken after she looked in a mirror. <laughs> I think it was in the delivery there. Uh, but that's not the only terrible photo she's posted of herself. Another, no, whoa! Another crying selfie! Wow, that was after uh, she watched her uh, submission tape to Edinburgh. Uh, you don't have to submit, but she did. <laughs> and this next one right here, everyone. <laughs> yeah. You posted that, Bugley. Yeah. Do you look at it now and think, good call? <laughs> I just have these all saved on a file on my phone called Total Boner Givers. So it's perfect. <laughs> Yeah. Bukley has cerebral palsy, and that's not even the worst part of her, all right? Follow the joke mentor. Now, uh, hey, and you know what? You know, we just went inside the mind of Christy Bukley. This next guy's been inside the body of Christy Bukley, everyone. <laughs> Brett Hiker. <laughs> Brett Hiker, everyone. <laughs> Somehow wearing the exact same outfit. <laughs> that they had shot from seven years ago. Oh, hiker. He's, he's been all over, man. <laughs> uh, and it's been fun to watch, uh, you know, his, uh, hiker. <laughs> Remember that headshot, hiker? Yeah. You know my favorite one, this next one. <laughs> That's Wallace from Wallace and Gromit, everyone. <laughs> That's just kind of a fun one. I mean, Hiker, I would never, I would never show any awful pictures of you. No? You don't want me to, you don't want me to show the picture? Dylan. Don't jump the gun, all right? Yeah. And yeah, so let's rewind the punchline. Anyway, I don't, I'm not going to show the picture. Can I describe the picture? Yeah, I was ready to block it, actually. Well, yeah. You don't use that appendage, all right? Uh, hiker legendary penis. He has a huge hog. Bugley? Okay. That's why she walks the way she does. Um, Sorry to do your joke about Jason Keys. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, Hiker's got a big dick. Uh, I took I took a I took a picture with Hiker once kneeling in a, uh, in a in a bathroom in Denver, and I was kneeling giving the thumbs up, and he had his dick in his hand. And I forgot that we had that photo until like a couple months later when I was looking for new headshots. But anyway, I did not post it, Hiker, and you're welcome. 
Uh, what's next? Oh, yes, this next comic, everyone. Uh, this guy was in my wedding party. I love him very much. He's, uh, he's taken a bit of a sabbatical from comedy, but he's still one of the best joke writers in the world, everybody. Aaron Urist. Aaron Urist right there, everyone. Aaron Urist, I love you, buddy. Thank you for being here. What a mitzvah. You can uh, see him in that picture. He's uh, holding the two tumors he, they removed from his mom's brain. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I know. Anyway, I remember when we first met, Hi uh, Urist. <laughs> remember when we first met? Uh, this, uh, this, that was you. <laughs> Remember that guy? Remember? <laughs> uh, you know, Uris, uh, he, he actually took the pandemic very seriously. He, was, uh, he, he took it very seriously, unlike Brent Gill, who spent the pandemic eating at Papado's in the Houston airport. <laughs> Uris actually took it very seriously. Uh, you can see on his act on his social media, you know, see? So there he is. Woke scolding all of his friends. Um, <laughs> yep. And it's not like he kept posting this stuff over and over again. <laughs> Those are different dates. Um, <laughs> yours took it seriously, and I respected that. I mean, I always wore a mask around him. <laughs> That's a different huge guy. But I do want to say this, today is a very big day for yours. Um, I'm just really glad that you could make it here on your birthday. birthday. Uh, <laughs> that's Grimace. I don't know. Um, this next guy, everyone, uh, I've known him since he started in stand-up. It's been fun to watch him grow. I've got to know his family. Uh, beautiful man. Uh, with a beautiful mind, which I enjoy. Everyone, Zach Moss over there. Zach Moss. <laughs> Zach Moss. Looking cool. Looking cool. Uh, I was actually able to uh, generate a photo of Zach Moss from uh, 30 years in the future. <laughs> I didn't have much on Moss. But... <laughs> This next guy's got much weight on his body, everyone. Mitch Jones. Mitch Jones, everyone. There he is, pictured with his girlfriend. <laughs> it's a cheeseburger. Mitch, I've known you since you started as well, I believe, right? Yeah. It's pretty, you're, you're one of the funniest people I know. A, a titan, you know? Off stage. Um, <laughs> he's huge. I mean, look, look at this picture I found of us from 2013, Mitch. Look at us there. That's at the Humboldt Comedy Festival. Yeah, but that, that's not the earliest photo that I have of Mitch. This is actually the earliest photo I have of Mitch. <laughs> it's the Pokemon Snorlax, everyone. But uh, I actually, I knew Mitch uh, because a, uh, one of my favorite movies ever was actually based on Mitch's life. Um, and I don't want to spoil it, but this is, uh, this is actually a, a, a biopic they wrote about Mitch Jones. And this is the last scene in the film here. <laughs> it's just that on loop. That's of Mice and Men. And he, Mitch, and the, and the humorous intent of that, that he's the Lenny character. <laughs> all right. They're not all good, okay? <laughs> Speaking of not all good, our next comic, and I mean comic, our next face, everyone, Alec Flynn. Alec Flynn over there, everyone. There's Alec. Boing. <laughs> Alec is the newest member of this, uh, this consortium of comedians, everyone, but he's got a big, bright future ahead of him. He's, uh, he's huge on social media. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy you guys all know who that is. That really pisses me off. But actually, before Alec was, uh, was in uh, comedy, he actually uh, was a former college athlete, everyone, who made the news uh, a lot growing up. 
That joke's really nothing compared to what I assume is coming, all right? But Alec, glad to have you, buddy. Glad those other 12 people canceled. Um, <laughs> next up, everyone, uh, this, this young man has been, uh, he, he lived with my family on and off for the last six months. Uh, my wife and I took him in. I, I count him as a, as, a, as a brother at this point in my life. Ladies and gentlemen, Fatrick Richardson, everyone. <laughs> Fat. I'd ask you to take a bow if I knew your pants could take it. Pat. <laughs> All right. Pat, Pat Richardson, everyone. Uh, he's been on the road with me. He's been opening shows. He's my videographer. I love him very much. I'm very proud of uh, the growth, you know? Uh, that's what I call him, the growth. <laughs> because he butted off me asexually. Um, <laughs> Pat actually, um, he's come a long way. He's come a long way from a cool guy online. Um, <laughs> somehow not as embarrassing as the headshots I showed of Bukley, right? <laughs> he's crying under those. But I just want to say, Pat, I'm really happy with uh, the videos you've been making online, man. You're You've come a long way. Um, so. so, yes, it's Nick, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Guys, we got a great show for you, all right? Uh, I've been Sam Talon, everyone. We're gonna, I'll be up here the whole show. I'll be sitting here, I'll be hosting these uh, events. And, uh, and now it is my sincere pleasure to, uh, to thank the wait staff, everyone. The wait staff here at the Comedy Point. <laughs> The wait staff is a slam dunk. They work very hard. Please take care of them. Um, forgetting something. Oh, yeah. How's the painting coming? You want to show it yet or you want to hold off for a minute? All right, we'll hold off for a minute. All right, in that case, everyone, please know that uh, all the people up here are very good friends and uh, the things they're going to say are all meant in jest and in love, so please don't be mad. Uh, I got some of my funniest friends in the world here and Brett Hiker, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this lineup is a real who's that? <laughs> Mike Long. <laughs> Mike Long, <laughs> remember? All right, uh, without any further ajou, but enough about your sweat. <laughs> It's my pleasure to bring up here, everyone, uh, the newest member of, uh, of this dais. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Alec Flynn. Alec Flynn, everybody. Thank you. Uh, look, I'll just, I probably shouldn't be here, I'll be honest. <laughs> like, uh, the, all these people have been doing comedy in Colorado for so long, I'm just happy to be up here. Um, you know, it's already hard to roast when you look like if a lacrosse stick became a real boy. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my best to just absolutely rip on these slops. So here we go. Uh, David Borey's here. Uh, David's the voice of Comedy Central, which makes sense because it always sounds very out of breath. Uh, uh, no worries, though. He just got a CPAP machine. All right. Very good. He did mistake it for an air fryer, though. Um, <laughs> Not great. Can't win them all, bud. Um, hey, I am glad you're getting some REM sleep, though. Rest is important for a guy whose entire job is telling me when Workaholics is on. Very good. Glad you're well rested for that. Uh, Zach Moss, you have dog hair. That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> Easy, Alec. I know, I'm going too hard. Zach is actually a rapper. Um, one time he actually rapped for me, and uh, I was blown away at just the rhymes, the flow, the liberal use of the N-word. It was crazy. Um, yeah, you should do it for David. He'll love it. Um, Brett Hiker's here, uh, back in Colorado, because it's really going well in New York. Um, <laughs> Uh, Brett looks like if your uncle uh, who brought his gun to Thanksgiving after being specifically asked not to. That's what Brett, that's Brett's vibe. So 
like, the holster's on. We're just, you know, leave in the car. All right. Uh, Brent you, you Gill? Meant, you meant to say safety. Can I just, can I finish, please? Yeah. All right, thank you. <laughs> Brent's, uh, Brent Gill's here. Brent's a big car guy, which I think means he sleeps in one. Um, <laughs> Um, Brent, uh, Brent kind of looks like uh, a Ninja Turtle man, um, like the Humpty Dumpty of Boulder. I don't really, I don't know. I don't, I, I forgot you were on this, I'm gonna be honest. Um, Brent has a special out. Good for you, keep it up. All right, Christy, Christy Bukley. Uh, Christy looks like the woman who lectures people about how pit bulls are actually really safe dogs. Uh, Christy uh, would bring me to feature for her in the mountains, and she is so bad at driving that I would make her like wait until we stopped so she could give me roadhead. Um, <laughs> all right, come on. Who's writing these? All right. <laughs> Christy really is the sweetest. I love her dearly, but she's been crying a lot lately, and it's getting annoying. Um, <laughs> David's not here. Aaron Urist is here. Urist? Am I saying that? Urist? Yeah? You got it. Okay. Hey, nice <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> Mitch Jones, glad you could take a break from working the fried Oreo stand at the Gathering of the Juggalos. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Dude, are all your friends just like body doubles of you in the biopic? Like... Jesus. Patrick uh, Richardson. Patrick and I actually went to the Italian festival last summer where he ate seven meatball subs and tried to finger the Virgin Mary Idol, which was... <laughs> when, we, when he asked him to stop, he just said, it's-a me, Mario Cuomo. I don't... I laughed. No one else liked it. Uh, Patrick has a very quiet voice, um, but you should hear him squeal like a pig when I fuck him in the ass. Oh, my God. Who writes these? Who writes these? Wins. Who writes? I don't know who's writing these. <laughs> You're too much. <laughs> um, all right, and then the, I, all I got is uh, Sam. Sam, um, you're just, you're crushing it. Sam actually went on Joe Rogan recently and agreed trans people don't deserve health care. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's not afraid to be himself, no matter how dangerous that person really is. Um, and I'm... Did I misspeak? <laughs> uh, Sam and I actually really bonded uh, doing comedy together in Newport, Rhode Island. And um, what I thought was going to be a real call me by your name situation with me and him actually turned into him repeatedly soliciting my parents for a threesome. Um, it's very hard to tell jokes while hearing someone tell your mom she has nice biceps. Uh, I don't know what that means. We actually built, visited one of the uh, Vanderbilt mansions while we were there, and uh, Sam kept reminding our tour group that Rhode Island used to be a plantation. Wink, wink. I was, it was very strange. And when I asked him to stop, he balled me up and threw me in one of the laundry chutes. So, uh, yeah, and he wouldn't couldn't get me from the slave quarters until he finished seeing if any of the priceless artworks were scratch and sniff. Very, uh, that's a long one. It didn't work. All right. Think of all the short ones that didn't work. Uh, <laughs> You're looking at him. <laughs> we did go to the beach where Sam buried my lower half in the sand, and instead of a mermaid tail, he drew an extremely detailed vagina, which was good. Uh, we were asked to leave the beach after he kept asking families to look at my cloaca, which was not... Maybe I shouldn't have laid spread eagle, but I don't know. Um... All right, I mean, all in all, Sam, I just want to say, um, you know, I'm a younger guy in the scene, but... Uh, Honestly, it means a lot. I look up to you very much, and uh, your kindness and generosity means the world to me. Love you very much. Okay, all right. <laughs> Alec Flynn, everyone. Alec hey. Flynn. <laughs> the future of sex without consent. All right. <laughs> Or as he calls it, sex. <laughs> Google him. 
No, he didn't rape. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's believable. That's what sucks. Um, Alec, I'm very proud of you. Uh, congratulations on your move to L.A. That'll be good. Uh, you can watch Alec's Don't Tell special, where he is getting a lot of views. How many views are you at now, Alec? Uh, I think it's 980,000. Wow, almost a million. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, that's... Well deserved. <laughs> yeah, from the bottom of my heart, Alec. It's gonna be fun in a couple years when all these people who are about to give you the business are adding your name to their open for bio. That'll be good. Um, he's gonna buy and sell these people. Next up, guys. Uh, before we uh, before we get into the funny part of the show, I thought we could uh, take a little break. <laughs> Take a little breather from the mirth and the laughter. Pat, can you fit underneath there? What are you doing, buddy? Oh, making room? Okay. Very good. So should you. Um, <laughs> I'm saying he's a repressed homosexual, all right? Uh, but this guy, he's not repressed, all right? He'll cram it if it's, uh, if it's there. This guy's fucked a couple watermelons in his day. Please welcome to stage uh, the horse cock himself, Brett Hiker, everyone. Brett Hiker! Oh, fuck. All right. Give it for Sam Talent, everybody. The man of the hour. You know, a lot of people call Sam the uh, Michael Jordan of Denver comedy, uh, mostly because his gambling got his mom killed. <laughs> Follow that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm Brent Hiker. Uh, uh, I mean, just, can I just say to you that like, this is a hell of a lineup. Like, what a way to make me, Buckley, and Moss feel like fitness models. <laughs> and Alec feel like, uh, go fuck yourself, Alec. Uh, Alec, every joke I wrote about you is how you're a, a raping lacrosse player, and it's been done already. Uh, I don't know if you guys listen to uh, All Fantasy Everything, but uh, Alec Flynn looks like David Borey's taste in movies. Yes. Nope, all right. <laughs> you thought that was going to work? Was that? <laughs> yeah, what's the rehearsal? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> David Borey. David Borey, you look like a fat Sam who ate Lund. <laughs> Black Sam. Damn it. All right. Uh, hey, hey. Hey, some... hey, take your time. <laughs> <laughs> Just take a, take a breath, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take uh, it again. Try it again. All right. All right. Uh, David Borey is an actor. A lot of people say he's a bad actor, but I thought he did a great job playing the rolling boulder that chases Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah. Maybe don't take your time. <laughs> <laughs> Borey's agent often tries to sell him as, uh, imagine a skinny job of the hut. <laughs> Oh, fuck you guys. It's going to get so much worse. <laughs> the empathy. Right? I don't think they were upset what you said about Bory. It was yeah. just how bad the joke was. <laughs> Patrick Richardson. Uh, Patrick Richardson has the uh, voice of a man who sits down to pee and the body of a man who stands up to poop. <laughs> Uh, Nathan Lund is here. Nathan, you've gotten as fat as Aaron Uris. You look terrible. <laughs> There's the light on him. All right. Uh, Lund isn't here. No, I know. It is Uris. Uris, you look like a tuba that a wizard turned into a real boy. <laughs> if you guys are offended by fat jokes. That's the entire show. Have you seen the fucking lineup? Uh, I mean... <laughs> I feel like we've had a few of these during my set, but can we all have a moment of silence for all the people Brett Gill probably killed on the way up here? <laughs> I've, I've met some LA comics who think Brent is a douche with the brain of a 19-year-old horny frat boy, 
And that's how I know they've seen him drive. <laughs> Mitch Jones. Mitch, Mitch can't wear the same color shirt and pants or people will confuse him with a love sack. <laughs> Zach Moss. Uh, <laughs> Zach Moss. I tour with Zach Moss. Zach Moss doesn't own a suitcase. He travels with a tattered box full of clothes, fiber, a yoga mat, a back roller, toilet paper, pills, fiber, olive oil, and a jug of tea. You look like you just got fired from a job at your own closet. <laughs> Zach relies a lot on wordplay. Zach's act relies a lot on wordplay. More like turd play. Look out for that joke in Zach's next album. <laughs> Christy Bukley. You know, a lot of people, uh, well, I should say, Christy has really turned her life around. She used to uh, work for a for-profit university, scamming poor people into buying an education that did nothing for them. And now she teaches stand-up comedy classes. <laughs> And the seal has been cracked. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people uh, might make jokes tonight that uh, Buckley and I once uh, made love for a short period of time, and uh, I don't think that's funny. That's how I got palsy. <laughs> that, my, my, mild palsy, mild palsy. She must have fucked the shit out of Cal Sheridan. They have to know who that is. What's that? They have to Who's know. For the comics? <laughs> Who are the rest of the jokes for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> do them all. I'm going to do them all. <laughs> oh, you'll see. Uh, Christy Bukley. Uh, <laughs> have you tried stretching? <laughs> like, it looks like it would work if you did this. No one can see that. All right. Uh, now, now you guys feel watching the fucking slideshow. Uh, excellent. <laughs> Christy Bukley. All right, tell me this to me. Christy Bukley is the, type of, is the type of person who would fuck Brett Hiker. <laughs> it's amazing watching Bukley's career climb the comedy ladder while watching her vagina fuck the comedy garbage shoot. There's only a couple steps below me. Are you excited about eventually fucking Vic G? <laughs> it's, it's Sam. No. This, this is Sam. This is my impression of uh, me finishing your book. Okay. He smiled. The end. I am definitely a Lun guy. It was he laughed. <laughs> oh, is it really? Yeah. I don't give a fuck. It was a bad book. Uh, Emily, I, I didn't want to bring you into this, but... Uh, My wife, everyone. Yeah, Emily, Emily Talon. Emily Talon. Sam's wife. <laughs> Dr. Emily Talon. Emily, uh, we all think you're shallow. We all think you married Sam for his looks. <laughs> I'm kidding. Your face looks like Christy Buckley's foot. Uh, When it comes to books, too, like, I prefer your wife's book that she's writing right now, which is, uh, So I Married a Garbage Pail Kid. <laughs> and guys, that's been my set. Get it for Sam Talon one time, hey! the man of the hour. Hey, watch this, everyone. Hey, Hiker. I love you. I love you, too. Whoa, you said it! He said, oh my God, that's a huge deal. Thank you, Hiker. He's done MDMA therapy. <laughs> wow, I'm moved, honestly. Okay. <laughs> you know what else is moving, everyone? The, uh, the talents of our live painter, Chris Bates. Chris, where are you, buddy? Chris Bates? <laughs> we have a live painter at all of these. Sam Talent gives the door to charity shows, uh, and they are made so much sweeter by the talents of a mighty fine artist, Chris Bates, everyone. Chris? 
Can I sit? How are you, buddy? Now, yesterday you were in Hawaii, right? This morning. This morning, and you flew back a day early just to be here for this cause, correct? See. It was very nice of you. Chris Bates, everyone. Chris Bates. At the end of the show, we'll be auctioning off this painting for the dogs. The dogs get it all. Bring them home, right? <laughs> all the money goes to bring them home. It's Until. for dogs who are in POW camps. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Hi, guys. Thanks so much for being here. We're Until They're Home. We are a nonprofit who helps uh, people who are experiencing homelessness. We house their dogs while they're finding housing. We also do a little bit of rescue. Uh, we help about 10 open admission low income shelters around the state help their dogs find homes and cats sometimes, but I don't like them, so I always forget to mention them. Please come and see us at the booth. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Okay, bye. We're all joking around until they're home, everyone. You know, just because their owners are living outside doesn't mean they have to, you know? Let's... <laughs> Let's get those dogs indoors, everybody. Chris, now what are you working on here? What do you got? Oh, excellent, nice. This is the, uh... well, David? I'm well aware. I was gonna let David uh, talk about it. But yes, this is the Notorious B.I.G. cover, and please do not put me in blackface. That would be... Hawaii face. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> so we will be uh, auctioning that sh off at the end of the show. Don't make it brown, please. <laughs> be really bad for me. When they hang that in Music City Hot Chicken. <laughs> It's not good. You know what is good, though, is, uh, is the rest of these comedians. My God, what a real barn burner we've had so far. Well, Alex was a barn burner. Alec was a barn burner, of course, not Alex. Alec, you were a barn burner. Hiker, a cross burner, all right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, have a sip, stupid. Now, who is coming up next? Is it? No. I wrote a line up in the back. Uh, Mitch, can you vamp for a minute? Yeah. <laughs> it's hard, it's, it's me, it's me, it's me. Mitch! Damn, it's Mitch! Go vamp! Hey, hey, team! It's me! The next comedian is, in fact, Mitch Jones, everyone! Oh! <laughs> Running your own roast here, Sam. Hello. Hey, thanks for having me here. Uh, Brett Hiker's here. Thank you for your comments tonight. I'm glad I was able to witness the worst New York-related bombing since 9-11. <laughs> hey, Mitch, real quick, that was a great joke. Thank yeah. you for cleaning up after Hiker. Um, but some woman over there looked at you and just screamed, oh my goodness. <laughs> I cannot wait until I get to you. Well, good luck scrolling. You're going to need a new phone screen because of your giant thumb. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Patrick Richardson's here. Hey, Patrick. You realize Sam's just grooming you for your kidneys before he leaves, right? <laughs> you may recognize Patrick from the uh, Key and Peel version of Chubby Behemoth that he started. It is, it is a very bad podcast. It's, it's, no, it's funny. If you like gum. <laughs> I'm sorry, Patrick. I love your podcast. I subscribe to it. Uh, You're the one. I am the one. The one Billy Gunn. What? <laughs> Alec, thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for taking time off from harassing drink cart girls at the golf course to be here. <laughs> I mean, if you're here, who's putting roofies in the drink at the wash bar? Am I right? <laughs> Brent Gill? Hey, what if a bong wished to be a real boy? All right, we're doing it. I meet Brent Gill every time we come into interactions. All right, I don't know why I said come into interactions. How am I doing? Am I doing good? Much better than Hiker. Yeah. <laughs> it's night and day. 
Yeah, I, uh, Christy, me and Christy were, were uh, partners at the uh, Lucha Libre and Laughs when you and Lund are not available. Christy, shout out. Yes. Also, Christy has fucked more comedians than Laughs on Fox. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, Sam, you, you've always been very kind to me, always saying, like, oh, you're so funny, you know, get to your due or whatever. And uh, it makes me feel really special that you forgot that I was on the roast until I asked you if I, could, <laughs> if I was still on it until last night. Uh, Thank God you did. Yeah. I did. Apparently the, uh, sh the shorts are cutting off the uh, circulation to your brain. I know they're definitely not cutting off the circulation of that little shriveled Dwangus down there. <laughs> Dwangus. Yeah, Dwangus. You make up more words than Dr. Seuss, motherfucker. And we wow. share some of the similar ideals, too. <laughs> Was he a secret bastard or what? I don't know. Do the research. Write a good tag. Oh, do your own research from Sam and his... All right. <laughs> It's okay, he gets you tired. Look, He's huge. You look like you should be running over a manatee in a boat right now. <laughs> thank, thank God you're not swimming. <laughs> a lot of people don't know this, but uh, Dr. Emily Talent, shout out Doc T, wherever you are. Yeah. A lot of her uh, doctorate practice hours were spent surgically removing Sam's shorts every night. <laughs> <laughs> Sam wrote a book. It's been great for propping up the short leg of my couch. <laughs> oh, no, I'm, seriously, I wish I could read. It looks great. <laughs> but no, Sam, you've always been so kind to me. You always, I mean... You always give me shit. You're like, oh, look at him. Hey, team, he's fucking huge, isn't he? He's so big. We cut the same outline, dog. <laughs> We're like if the same person, like if the person chooses the same fighter on Street Fighter. Yeah. <laughs> and then one of those fighters is respected by his peers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've always said that I'm Sam Talent if I was hot instead of successful. <laughs> Don't tell me I'm fucking wrong, baby! <laughs> no, Sam, you've always been so very kind to me, uh, and I'm gonna fucking miss you, but I know you're killing it. You don't need me to tell you that. You're fucking out there, you're doing awesome. Uh, you're gonna kill it wherever you go. You and Emily, best of like love to all, both of you. Kill it out there. I don't know why I'm saying kill it so much. Uh, you're probably thinking of that rabbit you can't wait to pet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, after this, Brett Hiker's gonna fuck me through the back of the head uh, with his giant dick. I gotta tell one story before I leave, though, because Sam, when you are gone, I get to sit with your boy, uh, Nathan Lund, in the, uh, the, you know, the booth at Lucha Libre and Laughs. I was doing a show, and uh, see, this is why I like, we cut the same outline. If people squint where they could think that, you know, we're the same, until they see your watch or whatever. I don't, I can't wear a watch. I can't fist nobody no more. The judge says there's weapons, all right? Uh, I'm the one that didn't eat mushrooms before the show, all right? But here's the story, all right? I was doing a show. After the show, these people came up and they said some very nice things to me. They said, Lucha Libre and Laughs, because that was my credit I gave to go on stage. And they were like, you, we love when you and Nathan do the commentary. And I was like, thanks, thank you so much. Me and Nathan, when Sam's gone, me and Nathan, we like chocolate and peanut butter. That's what we're like, me and Lon. And then she said, we don't like that Mitch guy that much. And I was like, oh, fuck! You think I'm Sam? So, uh, you know. I got a big chip on my shoulder when it comes to you, buddy, but I sure do love you, and I hope uh, nothing but success for you in the future. Thank you, bye. Thanks, man.
Mitch Jones, everyone. Mitch Jones, very funny. Mitch, please stop trying to quote, trick my wife. <laughs> That's where he tries to have sex with my wife. Because she's so dumb, she thinks he's me. She's not dumb. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, who, who, by the way, who was the, the person who uh, dropped off the giant gift bag? It was you? Yes, the mushrooms, yes. <laughs> well played, all right, thank you. Uh, so yeah, everyone's having a nice time. <laughs> They're all sweaty. They're all sweaty, yes. Very good. Professor Humidity, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and coming up next, I'm sure, is a very funny person. Does anyone remember who it was? It's Pat? Oh, yeah, hey. <laughs> Dylan, are you ready to go with this? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> hey, Pat, you're going to go up, buddy. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the stage. This guy, he's been with me nonstop for about seven months now, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. Please welcome the stage, everyone. Pat Richardson. Patrick! <laughs> Sorry, I'm so wet. I, uh, I'm, I'm not sweaty. I was in Sam's wet ass. <laughs> Sam's ass is so wet. <laughs> Sam's ass is so wet that his shits come out wearing scuba gear. <laughs> Sam's ass is so wet. Sam's ass is so wet, it vaporized a submarine full of scuba dive. <laughs> Fuck, I fucked the joke up. It is scary when he's up here and he could yell at you at any minute. <laughs> Sam's ass is so wet. <laughs> Sam's ass is so wet, Tim's, Tim Dillon's penis is all pruney. <laughs> You almost blew it, man. I know. Just slow it down. Don't pull a hiker, as we call it. <laughs> In the business. Sam's shorts are so short. They're so short, you can see Joe Rogan's cum dripping down his leg. <laughs> by me in the hotel room. <laughs> you hated it. I loved it. It was good. Uh, I didn't think you thought representation mattered, Sam, but it's cool to see all the body types from Monster Zinc represented on stage. <laughs> and Alec Brock Turner Flynn is here, too. <laughs> he was a swimmer who did rape. I was just trying to... <laughs> Yeah, and Alex, a uh, swimmer, <laughs> no, a rapist who did swim. <laughs> I think we uh, should. Think. I got it. I'm just kidding, Alec. I know that you're only here because Sam extracts your adrenochrome. <laughs> uh, like Sam said, I did live with uh, him and Emily for a while. It was a great time. It was a very uh, treasured memories. That's when I learned how wet his ass was. Um, while I do treasure those memories, I. I it's just kind of unfortunate that I never got to put all his clothes on and have sex with Emily like I planned. <laughs> I love you. And I love your wife. Okay, that was that crush, that was gonna crush in my head. Now it's gonna be weird between me and Emily for the rest of my life. Not worth it. I, lo I love his wife, she's the third blackest friend he has. Sam is a cryptid. He has the same physiology as Sasquatch. He really does. He has the body of someone that 
oh, what the fuck, dude? Did you have Dylan do that in the middle of my set? No, no, it just, it only works if the joke's good. <laughs> I, I was on a roll, fuck you guys. <laughs> Sam has the body of someone that grew up eating food off the ground. <laughs> No, but it really is like an honor to be on this stage um, and be part of this dais. Me and Alec Flynn and all these other people that were molested at the Squire Lounge. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you guys talk about. We were molested at the Squire Lounge. Comedy used to be so much harder before you got here. I have a wet ass. <laughs> I can't believe the wet ass thing worked. That fucking <laughs> bailed me out for sure. I can't believe it worked either. <laughs> uh, no, but it's been awesome watching all these achievements, like being on the Joseph R. Experience podcast, giving road head to, t I mean, going on the road with Tim Dillon, <laughs> going to Hollywood, putting on a motion capture suit, being the, do the worm from Dune 2. It's all very good. And I love you very much. Thank you, I'm Patrick. <laughs> as wet as my ass, Patrick. I can't believe the wet ass stuff worked. Uh, man. What fun we're all having. You know? And now, uh, for a special bit of fun, everyone, we have a video from my alleged co-host of my podcast. The man who m hates a bunch of free money every month. He couldn't drive up. Uh... Yeah, just look at him. <laughs> look how gross he is. He couldn't drive up. Um, but here he is, everyone. A special message from Nathan Lund. Nathan Lund, everybody. Buddy, Nathan Lund here from beautiful Trinidad, Colorado. Uh, sending a video to the roast of Sam Talent. For some reason, I obviously didn't want to be there. Or else I would be there. And Sam was like, oh, I need to fill time. The show's going to be long, for sure. Uh, several of these comedians wrote way too much stuff. And uh, what a beautiful format it is. Am I right? The roast. Uh, how it has endured, uh, I'll never know. Hey, look at how fat that guy is. Look at how dumb that person looks. Uh, look at how black... David Borey is. <laughs> you get the point. You guys bought tickets for some reason. Um, to celebrate the fact that Sam is leaving Fort Collins after, what, six months? As I really mean, to be pat on the back for six months of driving around uh, the campus of CSU, wolf whistling and being inappropriate with young college co eds just trying to get an education. Uh, congratulations, Sam. Also, uh, I believe the charity involved with the show uh, supports uh, dogs, helps animals. Sam is not a fan. He put his dog down because he's sick of looking at him. So this is the guy that you are uh, deciding to honor uh, with a roast as he continues on down the road called life. Uh, is this long enough yet? I don't know. A minute and a half? That's pretty good. Uh, yeah, and I'm sure you'll hear jokes about me. Oh, look at how gross Lund is. He's fat, he smells weird, he eats too much. Uh, one time he hit a kid with his car and kept on driving. I was like to a show. Do with that what you will. I'm human, I'm not perfect. There were a bunch of people uh, by the kid that I'm sure uh, were able to help him better than I can. Uh, I don't know what that entails. But anyway, uh, good on you for going out there and uh, fake laughing at all of these great jokes. Uh, I'm sure it's uh, a night that some of you will, will never forget. And that's uh, commentary on your life. <laughs> but, you know, I, I've known most of these comics that are involved in the roast for a long time, and uh, device is too hot, video quality may be reduced. That's great. This has been a lot of fun. To film and, uh, I hope that it gets used so that the show can be two hours and 12 minutes instead of two hours and nine minutes. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> wow, Lund. That's the best he's been in a long time. That's <laughs> the funniest Lund's been. And still, still funnier remotely than Brett Hiker live. <laughs> oh, Hiker. Someone had to wear it. Um, next up, who is it? Is it you, Bukes? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have the uh, sincere pleasure of welcoming to the stage now uh, my friend Christy Bukley, who uh, went from being, um, you know, just an upstart, a gadabout, to, uh, to being uh, on the road, teaching comedy classes. Um, and now, here she is for all of you. Christy Bukley, everyone. Christy Bukley. Woo! Thank you, Sam. Um, uh, yeah, okay. I, it is so good to be here, Sam, celebrating. I, I'm so excited to celebrate Sam Talent, um, the official spokesperson of Junkyard Cars. Um, uh, great start. Really good start. Um, okay. Uh, I, uh, I do teach comedy, Sam. I do. I actually have this like fun activity I do in class where... Um, uh, we're talking about comedy persona, so I have my students watch Sam Talent's JFL audition and oh. then like determine what his persona is. And to date, the most accurate description has been big dumb baby. So <laughs> that's that's a true story. So um Alec Flynn is here. Uh, man, he does. Stick, he sticks out here. I did realize uh, earlier tonight. The first time we, we, uh, me and Sam roasted each other. Um, Alec was a virgin, so that's hilarious. Um, good. Uh, you're really, you did do really good. You held your own. I have not fucked Alec Flynn. Um, I just would like to make that clear. I would never fuck somebody prettier than me. Um, right, hiker? <laughs> I would never. Alec, I don't, literally, I don't know what you're doing here. Like, you're the only person on this stage that doesn't look like an old catcher's mitt. So that's <laughs> wild. You are, you are very handsome, Alec. It's nice to see you uh, try to stoop to our level by getting the Blanche Devereaux haircut, though. Um, that's great. <laughs> Alec, I assume when a girl asks you to eat her pussy, your response is, do you know who my father is? <laughs> You look like you throw cups of piss at opposing team fans, okay? <laughs> Thank you for being here, Alec. I know it's been a rough week because your dad wouldn't let you borrow the boat for a TikTok, so. <laughs> da I, David Rodriguez is not here, but I would just like to say, um, uh, he, if you haven't seen David, it's you know, we're not missing much, honestly. Like the only part of his body that has been through puberty is his Adam's apple. So it's like I'm just that was for the staff. Okay. Um, well, these people know. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, Mitch Jones. Uh, Mitch is here. I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> gotta be honest, Mitch. I forgot to write jokes for you, and well, that's kind of the best roast there is, isn't it? There. Um, but I think Patrick's jokes work for both of you. Uh, so, Mitch, Patrick, you both seem like you uh, look at a, an above ground pools as a sign of wealth. Um, <laughs> Mitch and Patrick, if you're here, who's winning strip club trivia? <laughs> Okay, uh, Zach Moss is here, or as I like to call him, Jared Letgo. Um, <laughs> Zach is one of my best friends, and even though he looks like a magician that's in it for the pussy, uh, <laughs> Zach once did my podcast where he told me a story about how he had sex in a cemetery. I assume that was the first time his dick haunted a woman, but it wouldn't be the last. <laughs> I wrote that joke for his birthday roast a couple weeks ago, and I refuse to not get paid for it at least a little bit. Um, You're not getting paid David, for this. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, we got it. I did get that. You paid us some mushrooms. I'll take it. Um, da thank you for the benefactor. Um, uh, David Bory is here. David Bory, the voice of, voice of Comedy Central. Whose dick did you have to eat to get that job? Um, okay, not the strongest one, but I thought it was fun. Um, 
Fun fact, Bori's parents are from Sierra Leone. I assume his parents worked so hard to leave Africa and come to the U.S. and still white women all over the country have given up a cost of cup of coffee. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, still white women all over the country have given up the cost of a cup of coffee a day to feed him. Oh, that would have been such a good joke if I didn't fuck it up. It would have been huge. <laughs> Much like David. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And me. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And a, Mitch. A few people. Yeah. And Eurist. Yeah, Eurist is here. And you guys, Pat. you Eurist is here back from the dead. Aaron is like if John Panette was still alive, but just his talent died. Um <laughs> Aaron recently took a 23 and me and the results were shocking. 7% um, Jewish, 93% Mr. Potato Head. So, um, <laughs> hiker, I'm scared. Um, mm. Hiker, I'm scared to roast you since we have seen each other naked. Uh, but uh, some would say don't roast a man who's licked to the skin tag on your inner thigh, but I say let her rip, you know? Um, or let her dip. That's what I said to him before. I said, let her dip. Anyways, what did Elise um, Kern say? Because <laughs> <laughs> um, she was there too. Yeah, she was. One, yeah. um, Hiker. Uh, <laughs> Hiker is here from New York, where he does comedy and fosters dogs. But a lot of people don't know this. Uh, Hiker also fosters women. <laughs> It looks very similar. He lets them sleep in his bed, gives them a bone, and they get all the pets they want. He takes them, then he takes them on a long walk, and then as soon as they get attached, he says, what the fuck are you doing? Get out of here, I'm not your forever home. That was not a joke, was it? Okay. That's appropriate. You don't have to laugh when it's not a joke. Okay. Um, Brent Gill. Brent Gill is known uh, for only fucking moms. That's his type. Um, he's probably fucked your mom. Uh, if, he's, if he hasn't yet, he will. Uh, if he ever fucks your mom, don't get mad. Just realize how sad he is that he'll never get to fuck the mom he really wants to his own. Um, it, was, it was true again, wasn't it? Okay. Um, I'm really, I am actually so, I'm really sorry about this next joke, Brent Gill. Oh no, dude. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. We are actually very lucky that Brent is here. Oh, dude. <laughs> a, couple year, a couple years ago, Brent was actually in a horrible accident where his friend was severed in two. <laughs> but Brent, it seems like you used that as a turning point. You let your friend's death inspire you. You've gotten healthy. You've lost a lot of weight. Jesus, you're nearly half the man you used to be. <laughs> Somebody had to do it. I didn't think it would be you. I <laughs> Don't, I can tell, I'm allowed to tell that joke. I am dead below the waist. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> okay, um, finally, Sam Talent. God, Sam Talent seems like you should be famous um, or on the news. <laughs> Uh, seems like you should be more famous or on the news for biting so many kids. Uh, but no, here we are. Sam, it makes sense that you had Bori on, and you, you did want to have Steve AJ um, on, but he, he couldn't be there. They are, they are the POCs of the show. Uh, um, both of them are African. Um, if you know anything about Sam, he's not racist, but he does hate race mixing, so that makes <laughs> sense. That they're, that's a... We call it miscegenation. Okay. Um, Sam, this, this really is... Uh, Sam, I really wrote this part so it works really well. Sam is and always has been obsessed with how big Brett Hiker's dick is. Like, he brings it up any chance he can get. Uh, and um, I know you've seen his dick, Sam, but I don't think you've ever seen his dick hard. Um, well, I mean, your dick was hard, but his wasn't hard. You're every time, right? And so, well... Um, uh, if, just to quell your curiosity, Sam, when Hiker's dick is hard, it looks exactly like Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> the same size as Danny DeVito. <laughs> okay. You We're opened almost, really strong. Yeah, it's get. I think we've got it. I think I can maybe do it still. Okay. Um, 
I, uh, uh, this is just a fun. I once learned that as a kid, Sam and his sister split chores into blue chores and pink chores. Boys did blue chores and girls did pink chores. I just thought you guys might want to know where the misogyny started. Uh, but I just, I do want to thank you for having me on the show, Sam, because I know traditionally you consider comedy a blue chore, so that's great. <laughs> Listening to your act is just a chore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For everyone, yeah, we don't have to gender it, do we? Yes. No. Um, uh, okay, I, this I think it, we're almost there. Okay, um, I'm, I'm kidding. See, I love uh, I love you so much. We've known each other for over 13 years. We did our first show together in this very room, actually. Um, when I got off, you were literally maybe sitting exactly where you're sitting right now. Um, when I got off stage, do you remember what you said to me when I got off stage? No. He said, uh, great writing, no confidence. <laughs> no confidence. He kept just, no confidence. That's what he kept repeating it. And uh, I didn't realize at the time what a rich comment that was coming from a man who was all confidence and no writing. So um, I almost saw Sam tell a joke once, like almost once. But then a man in a turtleneck walked in and his entire body started vibrating <laughs> like an overexcited mixed breed chihuahua, you know? <laughs> um, um, anyway, Sam, I love you so much. Thank you so much for having us, Sam. Can't wait to see what you do next uh, on your next stage of your career. Moving to Austin to suck Joe Rogan's tongue. That's great. That is awesome. All right, I love you. Thank you so much. Christy Bukley, everybody. Christy Bukley. Very good showing from Bukley. Is that a true quote, Bukley? Did I say no confidence? Yeah. When? Wait, this is the very first time you saw me. 2010. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was right. <laughs> Bukley. Those were all good jokes. Unlike every other time I've seen you do stand-up. Uh, you know, you know, you know who's uh, good at their job in here tonight? Besides, not me, due to uh, being severely inebriated now. But you know who is good? The wait staff. Round of applause for the wait staff, everyone. They're going to take care of them. Uh, <laughs> now, you know, Christy, that was very good. You didn't mention having a cerebral palsy, which was that's that's a big step for you. What? Yeah, no, that was good. That was good. I remember the first time uh, you, you told us that you had CP. Remember what Brent Gill said? I keep mine on a hard drive. <laughs> okay. Who's next? Who was it? Oh, man. This next guy, everyone, the pride of Spearfish, South Dakota. <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? That's true. He's got a great family. He's a good guy. Takes care of his friends. Please welcome to the stage, everyone. My friend and yours, Zachary Moss. Zach Moss. <laughs> oh, man. So, uh, so, yeah, we're all here... Uh, because Sam is moving, uh, which is something a lot of people on this dais might want to try for at least 15 or 30 minutes a day. Uh, Sam T is a big man too. Uh, there's 206 bones in the human body. 206 big bones and one small one. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah, it's gross when it's small. Hiker, ooh, that's exciting. All right. Uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, Sam and Emily are moving to uh, get Patrick out of their fucking house. <laughs> Cut the cord. Sam is known for his podcast, uh, Chubby Behemoth. Uh, it's... It's uh, him and Nathan Lund and heroin Forrest Gump. <laughs> yeah. 
Fans of the podcast are called Chubby Chasers because alt-right was already taken. <laughs> A successful writer, uh, Sam has been compared to Mark Twain uh, for his use of racial slurs. <laughs> A lot of people don't know this, but Mark Twain loved to do the voice. <laughs> no, uh, em, em, Sam's married to Emily. She's, she's great. She's out of Sam's League, uh, which is 20,000 beneath the sea. <laughs> Sam, Sam is very loyal. Uh, he's never cheated on his wife. Uh, struck out every time. <laughs> Did you sip for emphasis? <laughs> no, I sip because I'm a drunk. <laughs> God, it's the only way I'm getting paid. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this show's yeah. for the dogs. Yeah, give it up. This uh, show is for charity, which is what Sam calls himself. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, it's it's fine. He he needs it. Uh, what? The money. No, he's doing just fine. That's all right. Fuck you guys. All right. Uh, no, Sam and uh, Emily aren't going to have any kids uh, because it would kill her. <laughs> Sam Talent looks like a Japanese drawing of an American person. <laughs> that sip was for emphasis. Uh, a lot of people don't know that the, the person who drew, the Japanese person who drew the, uh, Sam also does that voice. All right. Uh, when young comics tell me that they want to be like Sam Talent, I tell them that they better start writing crowd work now. Uh, Sam took me on the road for my very first time. Thanks, buddy. Uh, when we were on the road, there was two girls that wanted to hook up with me, and uh, Sam told me to go with the one who had them. Uh, she gave me syphilis. <laughs> but she had them. <laughs> she dumped them out. <laughs> I don't like when you say it to me. <laughs> Sam said he, he has known my family for a long time. They all said to tell you good luck on your move and everything. Uh, in fact, the last time after we were all together, Sam and I left, and he goes, uh, he told me, he goes, uh, tell your sister, Zach, that it's not too late for us. <laughs> Emmy's sick. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's really fucked up. My sister's 13 years old. <laughs> According to Joe Rogan fans, the funniest thing Sam has ever said is that there is no woke agenda. <laughs> Sam, Sam has such a good memory that he can remember every shirt that Nathan Lund has ever worn. All seven of them. That's for you, Brian. I don't know who that one's for. All right. uh, Sam's favorite book is, uh, as we've seen tonight, Of Mice and Men, because he really loves to say the word retard. <laughs> it's not in the book. <laughs> They call him simple. <laughs> well, when you read it to me. <laughs> no, 
Sam told me that they're thinking about actually maybe moving to France, uh, like his hero, Roman Polanski. <laughs> Sam Sam had a piss jar in his room when he was a kid. Yeah. Yeah, he had a piss jar in his room when he was a kid, and uh, that piss jar is all grown up. And here tonight, uh, Patrick Richardson, everybody. No. Uh, you might know Patrick from the Kobos and Richardson podcast. <laughs> I know, that was for us. But, uh... <laughs> hey, Patrick, why... Patrick used to be in a band. Why did your band break up? Because uh, our drummer was an R-word. <laughs> oh. Rapist. <laughs> oh. Right? Yeah, yeah. Not a, not a retard. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought it was just because you guys sucked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alec Flynn's here, everybody, uh, for the algorithm. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, I, I asked Alec, uh, like, he, he was on doing well on TikTok, and I was like, Alec, I'm thinking about getting on this TikTok. What do I... What, what should I do? What are the secrets? And he goes, Zach, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I'm very good looking. Uh, Brett Hiker's every, here, everybody. Uh, Brett Hiker, a known squatter. Uh, he spends more time in the bathroom than anyone I know. <laughs> That's a good joke if you get the setup. Yeah. yeah. He hasn't paid rent. He's ripping up his landlord. Yeah, he's actually squatting in real life, and he does spend probably three hours in the bathroom a day. So it's a good joke. Uh, Christy Bukley. Speaking of squatters. Yeah. Spe Speaking of good comics, I mean, Christy Bukley, I mean, you just saw her. That was amazing. Yes. Uh, she's such a good comic. I mean, on my festival, she did 15 minutes and eight and a half. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm excited for Bukley. Her career's going great. She's been opening lately for comics like Georgia Comstock. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. oh, fuck. <laughs> That's the meanest one so far. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, uh, I love you, uh, No. Uh, David uh, Bory is here. Bory? What kind of last name is that? African? Uh, uh, no, I thought uh, Mitch Jones is here. I, I thought... Is that pig? No, Mitch... Uh, well, and I thought Stephen A.J. was going to be here, and I didn't really have time to... Right for Mitch. I, I think I can make this work. But uh, so uh, Mitch Mitch Jones is here, everybody. Uh, what kind of last name is that? African. Uh, fuck. Uh, Brent. Uh, Brent. Uh, Gil is here. Uh, you know, when he used to have hair, they used to put a, a leash on him at CU and lead him around the stadium to get people fired up before the games. Yeah, a lot of people don't know this, but the, uh, the, the picture for the uh, Boulder Comedy Show is a young Brent Gill. <laughs> uh, Aaron, uh, reinforcing the, the uh, age-old adage, you know, that all comedians want to be sorcerers, <laughs> and all sorcerers want to be comedians. I don't think they understand. <laughs> Aaron quit doing comedy to play Dungeons & Dragons, so. It's true. Yeah. 
Uh, D-Rod isn't here uh, because he shuts off the AC for all the charity shows. <laughs> God, I, I did really miss that set that he always does up front, though. What is it called? Digging a fucking hole? <laughs> Damn. Oh. Uh, I think now is the time to, like, remember the people that, like, you know, that we, that we want to be here that can't. Like, you know, like, Nathan couldn't be here tonight. Uh, Steve and AJ couldn't be here tonight. Uh, and uh, Jody Champion. Couldn't be here. Man, uh, fucking Sam all those years ago really fucked her up. <laughs> they don't know who that is. Yeah, I don't know. That's for you guys. I'm getting off on that. <laughs> I'm glad you got off on that joke because the crowd did not. Um, now, guys, we have uh, we have three more comedians left, right? Yeah. Well, I hope. yeah, we have two more, and you're just... <laughs> 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 the yes. Uh, Yuris, you're next, right? I, yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, this is actually a big deal. Yuris, how many times have you done stand-up this year? Not very many. Not very many, but one of the funniest guys that any of us know. Yeah. Please welcome to the stage, Woo! my buddy and yours, Aaron Yuris, everyone. Aaron Yuris! <laughs> Wow, at last, a comedy show where Sam Talent has made himself the center of attention. <laughs> We've all been waiting for the day. You did a fucking PowerPoint? <laughs> You've never even written a joke down on paper. <laughs> Working harder on a PowerPoint presentation for your own roast is probably the most Sam T thing that I can think of. <laughs> Pretty good. Everybody uh, was up here. You guys tried your best. Congrats uh, on not. <laughs> congratulations on not being as funny or as mean as my internal monologue. Uh, uh, Alec Flynn is here. Kyle Rittenhouse was unavailable. Uh, just watch out. Uh, Mitch Jones in their big papa. Mitch Jones, shoe size 20, shirt size, extra, th extra strength. <laughs> heart, heart size, enlarged. <laughs> in six months, we're gonna look back at tonight and celebrate your life and just really miss you. Pat Patrick Richardson, uh, pass. <laughs> Brett Hiker is here because Jordan Dahl couldn't make it. Um, Brett, you did some jokes about people who are not here. That was pretty embarrassing. Uh, Brett just got back from a six-month tour with Zach Moss, which is the longest relationship either of them have ever had. Uh, Brent Gill was in a really bad car accident a few years ago. Uh, I know, which, but it's actually the funniest thing about him still, so. <laughs> Christy Bukley's here on the show, of course. She had to be here as the only moderately funny woman Sam kind of respects who still lives in Colorado that he's never had sex with. <laughs> Bukes, Bukes was worried about being upset after this show because people were going to be too mean. But you'll be fine. I've seen your act. You're upset after every show. Um, okay. Dave Borey's here to roast Sam, but you have to be careful because if you roast Sam Talent for too long at too high of a temperature, you wind up with another David Borey. <laughs> But we are here to roast Sam Talent, something the world's greatest chefs have long dreamt of doing. Uh, 
Sam actually began the roasting process. Uh, he began it by brining himself for salt and in salt and Dr. Pepper for the past 20 years. <laughs> Sam uh, Sam is an incredibly talented comedian, which is almost as good as being an incredibly funny comedian. Uh, <laughs> and it's lucky, it's lucky that he's so good because with the way he looks, it was either this or devouring villagers in a Croatian forest. <laughs> Those people have suffered enough, but you're doing good. We've fallen as a society to the point where people know who you are. Uh, that's where we're at. Uh, you might know Sam's name. You might know him uh, better by his personal brand. I can't believe it's not racist. Who stopped their feet? <laughs> yeah. Nobody else got them to fucking stomp their feet. I think it was Emily. Nice. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my God. Sam has achieved so much since he was discovered in that wet market in Wuhan, China. Uh, Kidding, Sam. Sam, as we all know, is the love child of Steven Tyler and Louis Anderson, and he, he has achieved so much. You went from sleeping on the floor of Mouth House to sleeping on the floor of the house you share with the doctor you tricked into marrying you. You went from hosting the Squire Lounge open mic to working alongside your former idols, Doug Stanhope, Tim Dillon, Richard Spencer, all the greats. <laughs> You wrote a book despite not being able to read. That's incredible. You let your mom die so you could steal my bit. Uh, <laughs> fucking poser. And she died knowing that my mom died first. <laughs> and that her death will never be as funny. <laughs> uh, seriously, it's really, uh, it's wonderful to be here with Sam. Uh, and so many of his dearest friends, or as he calls us, rides to the airport. Uh, but it's an honor to be here with all of you people who love and revere Sam almost as much as he reveres himself. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good night. Aaron Uris, everybody. Aaron Uris. What a treat that was. Thank you, Aaron. Um, oh, you're up next. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad to have you. You know? All right. I had a joke about AJ. I won't do it. Well, Steve AJ was supposed to be here. Our friend Steve AJ, right, everybody? Yeah. But he, uh, he, had to, uh, he had to do another voiceover for BoJack Horseman. Do you hear this? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Did you guys hear that Steve AJ? He's, <laughs> he's doing a... It doesn't make sense for a hundred people. Also, I want to say that this was the quickest sellout in the history of the comedy floor. We sold a hundred tickets in under 24 hours. And uh, everyone over there hasn't sold 24 tickets in a hundred days. So, Besides David, probably. You do all right. But you know, Steve AJ, our friend, <laughs> he was, uh, he had to, he couldn't make it, he's doing a voice again for uh, BoJack Horseman. If you want to see it, you can Google BoJack Horseman. But if you want to see Steve, you can also Google Blowjob Horsecock. <laughs> All right. Hold me up, Fort Collins. Our next, <laughs> our next comic coming to stage is uh, my oldest friend in the world. And I love him like a brother, as does my family. Welcome to the stage, everyone, David Bory. David Bory! Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Thanks for uh, having me. I didn't really want to do this because Sam is a comedian. With such gravitas, I thought all these comics were going to jerk him off. I thought nobody was going to go after him. And if I wanted to see a bunch of lame white dudes jerk off Sam Talent, I'd go to a chubby behemoth meet and greet. <laughs> 
Sam Talent calls his fans the Sam T Nation. Well. <laughs> he does. He says it all the time. And I think that's because he has a little Native American in him. And I think that's very apt to call your fans the Sam T Nation because they are truly the Indian reservation of a fan group. <laughs> They're full of cheap cigarettes, illegal fireworks, and guys with big opinions on white men. <laughs> Stephen AJ, this just says Wakanda for never. You get it. Uh, <laughs> Alec Flynn, or as I like to call him, Brent Gill before she took the kids. <laughs> I know you like that one. Alec is, uh, it's, it's hard to make fun of him. He's a very handsome, well-adjusted guy, and he does comedy, which is a weird space for you to be in. That's how I know you got touched during hockey. <laughs> he got molested for sure. That's why he's here. <laughs> to Alec Flynn, the triple deke isn't only a hockey move. <laughs> It's also a chilling reminder of what took place that fateful day behind the Zamboni machines. <laughs> Alec Flynn answers the question, what if Matt Reif wanted to be a white guy? <laughs> you like that one? I like it all, man. All right. Christy Bukley, the joke mentalist. Uh... <laughs> It bums me out that you tell people how to do comedy for money. That sucks. I would have thought. <laughs> I just would have thought you would have had more skills. Like, with your ethnic ambiguity and condition, I was sure you could have convinced some college to give you a full ride scholarship. <laughs> Excuse me, a three quarter ride scholarship. Mitch Jones, who cares? Uh, <laughs> Pat Richardson, everything I said about Sam, but fatter and less funny. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm thankful to be here, man. I'm so glad you're finally moving. I've been proud of you for years. I wanted him to move forever. I'm glad he's finally doing it. I'm also glad you're getting the representation or the recognition you deserve. That's sick, man. We've all thought you were the funniest for years. It's so cool uh, to see Sam getting what he deserves. Uh, everybody's been taking notice. Even Hollywood has been taking notice. And I think I can spoil this for you, right? So Sam recently scored a huge part in the upcoming Joe Rogan N-Word compilation video. It's coming out on YouTube. And trust me, he's got some big lines. Uh, Sam, I love you, buddy. Thanks so much. David Borey, everyone. David did not want to do this. He did it. Thank you, David. I appreciate that. Oh, no. Pat, where are you going, buddy? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> now, Mitch, uh, I don't want to spoil anything. I heard you were cast in a huge role as well. Because <laughs> you're huge. Uh, you know what? Next up, everyone... <laughs> Oh, so yeah. There's only one left. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brent Gill's going to come up here, everyone. But before we do that, uh, remember at the end of this show, we will be having the, uh, the, the auction of the live painting done by Chris Bates over there. Yes, right over there. Old Chris Bates flew home early for this. And, uh, oh, yeah, Emmy, do you have any jokes? No, no, no. It's 
my wife, everyone. <laughs> Dr. Emily Talent, everyone. Uh, our next comic, everyone, I've known him since uh, we started in stand-up. He's been doing it a bit longer than me, which is crazy. Um, <laughs> he does very well for himself uh, sexually. Is that fair to say? I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's been in a lot of sevens. He's been in a lot of threes. <laughs> but enough about Bukley's shoes. <laughs> Bukley, your shoes. They're different sizes. <laughs> this next comedian uh, once told me that he, uh, he will wake up will set an alarm to masturbate. All right. Well, hey. You told me you'll jerk off sometimes seven, eight times a day, correct? Sometimes. I get right. bored. Okay, hey. Why are we going to start with that? Well, I'm just letting them know in case you want to build upon it. <laughs> but recently you did see a doctor. You saw a specialist in the masturbatory arts. Uh, because you're, you're jerking off so much every day, it's kind of taken over your life. And the doctor, the doctor advised Brett only masturbate anytime he headlines a comedy club. So he's jerking off once every six months. Um, I'm sorry, Brett. But I'm not sorry to bring him up here. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend and yours, uh, a big Fort Collins welcome for Brent Gill, everybody. Brent Gill! Brent Gill! How about a round of applause for our dais, everybody? Weren't they fun? A bigger round of applause for the front row for having to deal with this cross leg, short, short, fucking right in your face. I mean, you can't even look at the star of the show, or you're going to get a full moon from his left nut. I mean, that's a... Yeah, pull, thank you for putting your leg down now. It's been two hours of just... Hey, everybody, look at what the kind of shorts I got to wear. I got to wear short spanks under these to hold my package in. <laughs> anyway, that wasn't how, what I wanted to start with, but that's just true. Um, anyway, uh, I am excited to be up with this dais, although what an ugly fucking bunch of people. This should have been a podcast, dude. <laughs> This should have been a bonus episode for your Patreon. No one wants to watch this. It's a bad scene when Christy Bukley's the most fuckable person in the room, okay? You forgot about Alec. <laughs> Fuck Alec. What about Alec? What, like y'all didn't forget about him too? <laughs> what about Eurist? Is that what I heard? Okay, anyway. Uh, this, look... By the way, comedians, I do want to say this. You didn't have to do every joke you wrote down. I wrote down way too many jokes, and I'm going to do every one of them. I'm going to do a half hour. I, I got to masturbate tonight. I got to fucking... <laughs> this is my chance. And I'll say this. Brent is a, in a very in, uh, non-enviable position having to go last to the road because a lot of people do the jokes, and then he has to cross them off. So yeah. just letting you guys know. A little peek behind the curtain. Get it. Thank you. All right. Well, here's the problem. None of these are organized. So let's just start uh, with here. We're here at the roast of Sam Talent and Christy Bukley. Um, <laughs> Christy was actually our affirmative action booking uh, in that she needs a firm foot to take any action. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't care. Uh, I had to make a note in here. Don't be too mean. It's going to come off real. Um, you know, the reason she walks like that is not because of her palsy. Re reset it up. It's oh, I think everyone can hear me without the microphone. I don't think I need that. Uh, it's because she keeps shooting herself in the foot. All right. That's worth it. Thank you. Christy Bukley is one third of the Pussy Brothers, a group you somehow formed, <laughs> which is. She doesn't like to talk about that part. Uh, but she is, uh, she's one-third of the Pussy Brothers and by far the least successful. Uh, one of them's already quit comedy as well. Uh, she's like the fat one from NSYNC, you know? Um, 
Fat Tone. Jo- Joey Fat. Sorry, I always get the spelling right. She's Joey Fat Tone of the Pussy Brothers. Thank you. You know his last name is Fat One. I'll be damned. It is. Yeah. So imagine if you read it that way. How about that? Yeah. See, this is why I didn't read your book. <laughs> It's just hard reading autobiographies, you know? <laughs> Mitch Jones is here. Uh, Mitch, you, uh, you look like a D3 football coach that's trying a new career. Uh, you look, you're dressed like you're at a court appearance because you got a DUI on a tractor. Um, <laughs> Uh, David Rodriguez is the owner of this club. He is not here today. Uh, but I did find this out. He is okay. Uh, I always get worried about uh, Latinos after 4th of July. You never know how many fingers they're going to have. <laughs> they love fireworks. That's so oddly specific. <laughs> uh, Patrick Richardson. He's sweating sitting down. Nope, I don't need that. Uh, <laughs> I think the only reason Patrick is here is because you need someone to edit this roast after this. <laughs> Might as well get him on there so I can pay him an exposure. You, I don't know if y'all know this, Sam actually uh, one time convinced a, a local comedian, Byron Graham, to drive to Mississippi for a $300 gig that Sam would get and $50 for Byron. Uh, so he's taken advantage of more young comedians than Louis C.K. Uh, <laughs> Shut up. That's just one guy. <laughs> Talk. You know how many people you've told to quit their job before, or before they're good at comedy? This is just a conversation for me and Sam. This is not... Yeah, this is remember, not... You have... Dude, you took if, 300... If you, if you remember, I told you to keep your job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Aaron Urist. Uh, everyone knows this now. Aaron, uh, he did. He took the pandemic very seriously. He, uh, he w- became a shut-in uh, during the, the whole pandemic. Uh, but what's curious about him uh, is that Aaron actually put on his pandemic 25 years before the pandemic. So, because he's fat. Anyway, uh, he... Look, fuck you. He, j- he needs to get more vitamin D. He can't see his ICK. Um... Yeah, I know. All these are disorganized. I have all Sam's up front, and then I have all you jack-offs at the end, and I'm like, I don't like these as much. Uh, but anyway. Alec. I don't like you. No, I don't like when people look that good and they do comedy. You don't need this, all right? You, you are fine. You... Uh, uh, I will say this. I did notice you are very gray now. D- uh, d- did you know that you're gray now? Yeah, gray. It's great, dude. You look like the aftermodel for just a minute. Touch of gray. Like, that's what you could do next. <laughs> you could do that as an affiliate sponsor. Yeah. Okay, anyway, here we go. Uh, Sam, let's just get to you. I gotta get out of here and masturbate finally. So, uh, by the way, it wasn't like always. It's not always seven times. It's just... Occasionally you wake up, you bust out three, and then you have a... <laughs> you got a lunch break, 30 minutes. 10 minutes to eat, 20 minutes to, you know, you got it. Eat again? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you inviting me t- to do this wake of yours. This is... Uh... <laughs> I like writing eulogies for all my friends. It's good practice. Uh, he's got a particular taste in women. I don't know if you've known Sam as long as I have. I've seen a lot of the women he's dated. Uh, and he really goes for that lead singer of a K-pop band look. You know what I mean? <laughs> Except for not Korean, ever. <laughs> I mean, this was more of a joke about Marilyn, to be honest, but I didn't feel like that was going to go well. Anyway, Sam's married to a doctor now, which is pretty cool, because we can finally figure out what the fuck happened to Sam Talent. He's 36. (laughs) He's 36. How the fuck did I end up looking better than you at 38? Dude, you, you, man, you are, 
you are graying so prematurely, it looks like you pushed a child down a quarry and just watched him die slowly, you know? <laughs> Sam, I hate that you get to wear shorts on stage. Nothing pisses me off more than that. You try to... <laughs> Here's the thing, he, he didn't want to wear shorts. He's trying to make them look punk rock because he looks like a toddler in pants, all right? <laughs> <laughs> in all serious though, uh, uh, I, do, I do like you very much as a human being. Uh, <laughs> you are the master of putting in minimal work and getting maximum return on it. It's crazy. Uh, I'm so proud of you. I, I, I tried reading your book. I tried listening to your book. Uh, I still have not finished it. Um, I, I think he dies at the end, right? <laughs> Something like that. Look, it's hard to read a book written by half by a thesaurus, okay? It's Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, you went to chat GPT. I was like, how can I make this more difficult for the average reader to read, huh? Context clues, fuck that. I gotta Google this shit. Uh, but Sam, I am. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy for you. And uh, it's just cool that you're throwing a roast before you go on tour. So I can't wait for your next tour. Uh, thank you, everybody. Good evening. That's it? That's it. It's fucking two and a half hour show. Hey, get out of it. Brent Gill, everyone. Brent Gill. Good work, Brent. Excellent work. All right, well, that's, uh, that's pretty much the show. Um, we did a good job, I think. Yeah. Yep. One more time for the dais, everyone. <laughs> or as Brent's been calling them, the gayus. <laughs> We've had so many good shows, you know? <laughs> we have. We've had a bunch of good ones. <laughs> it's been good, you know? And, uh, and, and what, what, what's most important? <laughs> oh, man. What's, <laughs> what's most important about the whole thing is that uh, every dollar uh, this evening goes to uh, Until They Come Home, everyone. Until They Come Home. Another great charity here in Fort Collins. <laughs> Bart. Uh, they, do, they do a good thing for good people. Everyone needs a hand every now and then, and they're, they're giving it. And <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? I, I'm being sincere. Thank you, Until They Come Home. And now we are going to uh, do everyone's favorite part of the show. Chris Bates, are you ready for this? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to stage live painter Chris Bates, everyone. Chris Bates. There he is, everyone. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. No, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I have to leave now. Yeah. That looks like my corpse. He <laughs> put a crown on my dead body and then made it racist. No pictures. No pictures over there. 